Next thing. I am going to actually hand over potions to uh, my main characters. I am not leaving it on my back characters. Also, I want to make sure that I do not uh, burden myself too much. And I would like to put a uh, tar bead here, just in case I need it. Um, you might notice that I'm removing all of my potions from uh, my back row. And there is a very good reason for that. My back row is going to die. I do not doubt it whatsoever. It's going to happen. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best to do as much possible damage with my back row as I can before they die. But my front row is... Uh, is the team that we're going to be rooting for. And also, I want to, uh, to put this baby out there as soon as we go down there because this speed potion is going to, uh, to give some extra swing power to, to him. She's already got pretty fast swings, but he could use the extra speed. So, anyway, we're all set up. I'm going to save one more time since I'm set up now just in case I decide I want to try this more than once if I uh, end up failing miserably. Let's do this. Scavengers everywhere. I hate this room. Yep. And one of our back row has already died. Very awesome. So, um, part of what you want to try and do is keep moving up if you can. And you'll note that our, uh, our row has died here, which is great for it, but, you know, can't do much of it. And you need to heal before you get killed. These guys are just squeaking everywhere. I need you to heal up as well. Come on now. Ah, uh, dang it. This is getting me hurt pretty badly. All right. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, no. I'm getting stuck again. Not good. It's also a uh, good idea to try to focus on the, uh, the single guys because they'll go down a lot faster and it will leave openings for you, which is a good thing. You want to have as many openings as you can. I actually level that up in the middle of battle. Probably not the best thing to do, but it kind of helps me out. Gives me a little uh, extra power there. Alright, come on. We're going to win this battle, I swear it. Alright, come on now. Now, I don't want to face you, because that is not going to help me out. Oh, come on. Get me out of here. Just need to kill this one, and I'm out. Uh-oh, still more. Alright, while I am out... Oh, dang it. Oh, you guys are bastards, aren't you? Alright, we're going to try and keep moving out of their pathway for a bit here so I can at least get a few potions going because that would be very nice for me and I just let myself get surrounded that was a bad idea holy crap you're gonna die nope I drank it on the wrong person whatever that is fine I thought that was the correct person but it was not Oh well, I can do this with one person. This is why my main character rocks so much. My main character may be a little bit slow, but he can do some serious damage. Alright. We will eliminate these guys ever so slowly. You know what? I... Nah. I would prefer to have my shield... Got myself stuck because I was thinking about other things. Alright, that's fine. Wow, 100 damage. 
That was some pretty serious damage there. Very nice. I think we can get this out of the way now. I think I have won this battle. Possibly not as good as it could have gone, but um, I won. And that's, that, my friends, is all that matters in the end. If you win, it's all good. Put those together. And... There it is. Nice little golden key. I don't know if this golden key always is here, but it always seems to end up right there. I don't know if it drops from one of the scavengers, or if it's always right there, but that's always where I end up finding it. And this is what we came down here for, the Shield of Valor. It was rumored that even a dragon could not harm the Emperor Malin Tal when he earned this shield. So this gives us some evasion, some extra strength, and fire resistance. This shield is really awesome, especially against the uh, Guardians. Go ahead and give her that shield, and I think I will give this shield to Garrett's, which is not very realistic. But, you know, the extra evasion could uh, certainly help him out. Oh, looks like we're moving slow here, because Garrett is overweight. Um, let's see, you should probably be able to take these back. And I will make some brand new potions while I'm here. Get a few of those going. Alright. That's good enough for now. Who the hell is overweight? Oh. You're still overweight, huh? That is unexpected. Um, can you carry that? No. Not quite. Can't carry even that. There we go. Can you carry that? Good. Whoops. So anyway, we're on level 11 the tomb here. So uh, it, it really takes you deep down into this place. So we, we have literally gone to level 6 and then after that managed to, uh, to head down to level 7, 8, and 11. All during this uh, this little excursion here, so kind of an interesting excursion, if you ask me. All right, now I need to go revive my people. Sounds like there might be a Doctor Zoidberg somewhere around here, so it would be a good idea to get this over with. All right. So I'm guessing that our main character is going to be slightly ahead of the curve when it comes to uh, experience because he stayed alive and everyone else didn't. Yeah, he's, he's only got like 500 experience more than other people. It's not that bad. A little bit different, but it's not that bad. I'm going to go to the lovely feeding trough, grab myself some extra snail food. And, uh, and feed. Because, you know, it is always good to go into the dungeon on a full stomach of nasty-ass snails. It really is. Alright, let's see here. You can eat that. You can eat that. Is there no more snail slices around here? Wow. I thought there was more. Apparently not. Maybe one of the snails went into the uh, haunted place over here. Um, I don't hear any. Hmm. Nope, I only hear a skeleton. No snails. Hey, buddy. That was a nice backstab. I might as well kill this guy since I hear him. Sweet. Um, I wanted to feed Mr. Click Click, but there's no snails around. I don't know if that was a Zoidberg or a snail that I... That sounds like a snail. Alright, snail. You're not getting away that easily. Wow, two of you spawned. Perfect. The 
if one doesn't drop it, then maybe the other one will. There you. There we go. Nice little snail slice for us. That's what I was looking for. And now, while we're not all totally healed up, we are pretty close to healed up. Anyway, you might uh, you might have remembered me saying that um, I don't know why I was even saying healed up, fed. But anyway, um, you might have remembered me saying something about well. Anyway, this this is also unlocked just in case you're wondering, but you might have remembered me saying, if I could get my thoughts out, that one of those pits was worth falling down. And we're going to, uh, we're going to go see what that is in just a second here. After we get rid of Dr. Zoidberg here. Alright, pair one of those and we'll rest up real quick here. Because this is the very last secret that I would like to show off. If you remember that scroll that we found downstairs, it said something about Westmost. Well, let's go find that uh, Westmost pit, shall we? I totally went down the wrong hallway. I indeed did. I am just having the worst traveling luck right now. Why is there more on guardians? What is going on? I do not know why these guardians are respawning. This is kind of odd. Never seen this happen before, but I can definitely hear them. All right. Anyway, dang it, missed. I was hoping he was going to stand there a little bit longer than that. Wow, there's a lot of them over here. Looks like there's three? Yeah, four. Holy crap. What in the hell is happening? I have, I've never, ever seen this. I moved back way too early there. Is there something behind me? Holy crap. This is kind of frightening. I've never ever seen this happen before. Never ever. Well, um, I guess this is one way to uh, to get a ton of experience. <laughs> I don't know if this is a glitch or if this is supposed to happen. So um, you can tell me. God damn it! I keep clicking stuff that I don't want to. That was really a bad fizzle spell there. I am just not having good luck with uh, casting spells today or or walking around properly through this dungeon. It's just not been the best day for me for whatever reason. Wow. Hi there. I didn't know if this was going to happen, but uh Looks like it, it ended up okay for me. Also, this torch is way burned out. So let's go ahead and switch that out. I think I should be okay to take on a few uh, guardians at this point. Hmm. Where are they at? Come on, you bastards. Now, wasn't there another one somewhere? Where the hell did he get off to? I only see one right now. That other guardian is going to come out and surprise me. I just know it. At this rate. There you go, buddy. You enjoy that. Just going to sit there and stare at me, huh? Wow. I'm surprised I took him out with the mage alone. Alright, let's try and rest up. Hopefully that uh, fourth of guardian is uh, long gone. I have no idea where he went off to. But, 
now that we have managed to get rid of these guys, hopefully, um, we're gonna go down the pits that I keep talking about. There we go. Rest up as much as you can. You're gonna need it. Because this will open into these little bits after sitting here. And you have no potions. And it didn't matter. Didn't matter. In the end, everything worked out. I completely forgot that I did not space my potions onto my other characters. That was completely my bad. So let's put all these on you. And let's make some healing potions so that everyone can have some. Give that to you. One for you. And that's not correct. That one for you. So let's see here. You've got two currently. You've got two currently. Uh, you've got two currently. And hopefully you've got two currently. Very good. Everyone has two healing potions. And we now have the crown of kings. I uh, will give this to you because you're the one holding all the jewelry at the moment. And uh, I apologize if I read these names incorrectly because holy crap. Anyways, the golden crown of House Abrare, Abrare, something. The ancient rulers of the vast Theorionan Empire. I don't know if I pronounced that stuff right, but you know what? Deal with it. Okay. Why don't you eat that? Because you are running out of space, and I just don't care about food anymore. It is really unnecessary to care very much about food in this situation. Alright, let's heal up. Actually, you know what? I do not really need to do that, do I? Because I'm going to be heading right on by a certain spot. Also, before I leave, silly me forgot to do reading. Golden Grave! Yes, when you fall down here, it is the Golden Grave. So, the Grave of Treasure, I suppose. Anyway, let's get ourselves into this nice little portal. Once again, takes us to the Halls of Fire. I have no idea why all those uh, Guardians were coming back. Maybe everything in this place respawns? Because, I mean, the snails respawn, the uh, Guardians seem to respawn. I know for a fact that the skeletons respawn. I have no idea. It's It just seems like everything's respawning. Anyway! We have managed to defeat level 6, trapped, and we're no longer trapped. No, instead, we're in the ancient chambers. I'll see y'all next time. Bye for now. Hey all, so um, you're going to see this at the end of uh, level 6. I'm just going to tack it on there. I completely spaced out uh, doing this while I was, um, while I was playing level 6. I don't know why, because this is a really, really simple secret. Anyway, um, I'm doing this at the end of it because I don't want it to spoil anything along the way, since basically everything is mapped out here, and yeah, it would show extra stuff that it shouldn't. But um, you might be wondering, uh, what's behind this little door? on seven here well we can uh, we can actually get to that and I just was silly and did not uh, did not remember to jump down the correct hole so um, this is the hole we jumped down during the uh, the video sets and this is the hole I should have jumped down um, yeah anyway if you go down this one you get into a little bit of a different area as you can see, that's behind that door, and uh, it's a secret. Yes, a nice little secret with lurker pants. So um, that's pretty nice, and we're going to uh, we're going to be switching those out 
for Garrett. He's going to be dressed in as much lurker stuff as we can find. This is not lurker, but um, it's getting there. He's got he's got a whole bunch of evasion, so um, you know he can probably miss quite a few hits. And there's also a uh, nice little shuriken here. And as soon as you pick up all the weight from there, uh, the door opens. So now you just basically go to the portal as usual to uh, to get out. If you had fallen into this uh, first hand, um, this place might have been filled with crowerns and wyverns still, but obviously it's not. Anyway, I thought I would show that because um, I'm trying my hardest not to miss anything. There's a lot in this game that's very easy to miss, but um, I'm trying to show as much as I can. And so to the end of uh, trying to show you everything, um, we're back here again in the heat of the moment with the uh, the whole fighter's challenge thing. Um, I ran off to try and resurrect my people and I was going to come back, but um, for whatever reason, I just got sidetracked and never did. Anyway, um, so with the fighter's challenge area, there's actually more than just that shield, so if we go down here and uh, head through this teleport. Where you get teleported is uh, literally directly across from something. So we've got the portal here uh, after you have taken the shield and so forth, but if you go straight across from the portal, you're gonna find a nice little button here, which opens up a wall next to us. And we have another secret and a treasure. Very awesome. So we're gonna add this uh, treasure to our uh, our long list of other items. Okay, it's only four, but you know, whatever. Um, this is a fine mechanical apparatus with unknown function. Maybe it's some sort of calendar. Well, who knows? We also get a uh, random poison bomb here, so I'll put that in there. And uh, next time we will uh, we'll meet up on level seven. So, uh, I will see you all later. Bye for now, everyone.